Hello to everyone, this is Mind Mastery, and today we want to take you on a journey of manifestation, mindfulness, and a better future. This video is for you if you're prepared to discover the mysteries of your mind and body and finally make good changes in your life. To ensure you don't miss any of our groundbreaking content, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell before we start. Now let's begin. The first thing you need to do is ask yourself if you are prepared to grow and change into something better or if you would rather stay the same and wait for things to alter in your environment before you can feel less alone or relieved of a lack of resources. Just stop for a second and think about how significant it is that all of us are here at this particular time in history. We struggled for this, and now we are stuck at the same level of consciousness. We can't go any further. You will notice that a great number of structures are beginning to fall apart since they are unable to continue functioning normally in this purportedly new era. And we cannot respond with concern because some of these things were produced by our own minds in the first place. We are unable to react with fury and frustration at this time. It's the same mental attitude as before. The frequency is exactly the same as it was before. It's the same category of energy as before we have to get past that and reach a higher level of consciousness in order to unify and connect with one another this is the only way when energy reaches your heart you will begin to experience love you will also begin to learn how to self-regulate you will begin to comprehend the formula and you will feel that you will begin releasing high levels of oxytocin oxytocin has been shown to reduce the activity of the brain's survival centers when you're feeling the effects of oxytocin, it is impossible to be in the fight or flight phase. You are not capable of harboring resentment toward anyone. Therefore, oxytocin sends signals to nitric oxide, and nitric oxide sends signals to molecules, both of which are responsible for the formation of this center right here. This center opens up with the same intensity as when your sexual organs are aroused and gorged with blood and energy, but it's a new sensation, a different consciousness, just with the same intensity. This center opens up with the same intensity as when your sexual organs are stimulated and gorged with blood and energy. You are going to feel an overwhelming amount of feelings. When you experience this feeling, you go from a state of selfishness to one of altruism. Once this energy is received, it must make its way to the brain in order to be utilized, as demonstrated by a number of studies. You are responsible for giving it a voice at this point, which requires you to be able to express it clearly while letting it out. So if human beings shift from selfish to selfless state, and hundreds of thousands of people do this at the same time, everyone contributes to everyone because they feel whole and creative, and we would come up with solutions from a higher level of consciousness that we have never considered. It's a sign that we're waking up and we can't go back to our old ways and the entire world is on hold. What a fantastic opportunity for the planet to recover a little. What a wonderful opportunity for family to reunite. What a wonderful opportunity for people to rediscover their appreciation for the little things. What a wonderful opportunity to teach your children one-on-one -on -one now that you have the time. What a wonderful opportunity to sit down and learn and read something and have it make sense to you to embrace it and to consider what you're going to do with it. So many people have quietly expressed their desire not to go to work today. They've been fantasizing about it for years. They now have the option of not going to work and working from home. That is everyone's fantasy. You may get up and do your thing. You've got a cup of coffee. You go for a walk and take a break. You're at ease in your own home. So the question is, are you going to change into something greater or will you stay the same and wait for it to change so that you're relieved in separation or lack and it's definitely not easy and it doesn't feel natural but if you believe in your potential then you can start doing what feels unnatural and people are starting to do this and seeing that they're empowering themselves in their lives as a result we are hardwired to communicate we are hardwired to help encourage and inspire we are programmed to help one another we are hardwired to show one another what is possible. This is when an entire species suddenly starts to unify and does something higher, and we simply have to move up to a greater awareness. This is what we have in front of us. Now, it doesn't matter what caused it or where it came from. What's more interesting is what you're going to do about it. When you realize you have control over your emotions and your physiology, and that you are the creator of your life, you can think outside the box. You should be motivated by what is in front of you and say, okay, I'm willing to go to a higher level of consciousness and see answers to the current situation from a higher level of mind. We encounter hurdles every day because of the way we have to reorganize events and all of the other things that are changing. 
but just keep going to stay in that creative mood and go all in. If everyone would do so, we would all begin to feel empowered by the concept that we would be less afraid and less restricted. We decreased from singularity, from source, pure love down into density, fooled into the illusion of separation. Now more than ever, if we want to apply the principles, we will have to unite to the field. Quantum physics states that everything physical material is connected by this unifying energy, which people do not believe they have access to. If all of your attention is focused on the real world and on matter, reality is both particle and wave, matter and energy. Even if you're not familiar with the quantum realm, you can understand it intellectually. But if you're not aware of it, it doesn't exist for you, and you may have all the dinner talks you want. But you should say, I want to focus on it. I want to go through it. I want to give in to it. I'd like to become more of it and less of myself. I wish to shed my separateness as a consciousness and continue to practice connecting with it. If you continue to practice, you will eventually run across it, and when you do, there will be an arousal in response to it. When you finally realize that it is originating from inside of you, I can promise you that you will no longer go to your external world for the sensation that you have spent your entire life searching for. You'll also start to believe that you're an extension of some kind of intelligence that's invisible to you. When people try this for the first time, they report that it is simultaneously the most familiar and the most bizarre sensation they have ever experienced. They are exposed to novel concepts, gain new perspectives, and have mystical experiences that fundamentally alter the course of their lives. It is applicable to people of all cultures. It breaks with established norms. It is not limited to the medical field. It extends well beyond the realm of psychotherapy. In point of fact, a great number of doctors and therapists have had that experience, and many of them have said, I never knew it could be this good. Therefore, what precisely are we going to be discussing here? In order to convince yourself that you are linked, you are going to need to employ a formula. Nobody is so exceptional that they are able to avoid being affected by the phenomenon. Regardless of what brought about this circumstance or why it occurred, the time has come for the community to join to become one. That's all well and good, but we don't need to see each other to connect. When we would open our hearts and knew how to apply brain and heart coherence, we could connect, be empowered. Having the discipline of doing this is no different from anything else you do. You continue to do it, you'll simply get better at it. And that's what we want you to do. Walk out into your lives with a higher degree of consciousness. Stop believing you're limited and stop instinctively believing something out there is going to get you. We hope that you found this video helpful and motivational. We want to thank you for watching this video and staying with us till the end. Please feel free to share it with friends and family members who would also like to dive deep into this topic. Hopefully we'll see you in one of our upcoming videos again.